What's up, everybody? Super Tony Z plays here. Yes, I know I was formerly just Tony Z plays, and Super has been added to the name. If you're wondering and you're watching on YouTube, that is because I recently revamped my Twitch channel, and Tony Z plays was already taken, so I added a Super to the name. Got some new artwork and all that kind of stuff for logos and stuff like that taken care of, and then decided that I just wanted to make YouTube the same name as the Twitch so that they can go together, like continuity wise. If you're watching this right now, thank you so much for watching. I am doing a Yugen game today. I won't be playing it. I'm just going to do like some AI battles for this video. I apologize. I know it's been like two months since my last video upload. I know I always come on this channel and say I'm going to be like, I'm going to commit to it. And then I like screw off for a while. So I apologize <laughs> to those of my uh, loyal viewers who watch the channel every, every time I upload a new video. I apologize for that. Hopefully, the uh, new games that are coming out this week will allow me to provide plenty of content for y'all. Be sure to look out for the live streams on Twitch. I plan on streaming two brand new games on Thursday and Friday, and then hopefully clipping those down into videos for the YouTube channel. Those games being Diablo 4 and Street Fighter 6. I did a stream of uh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary over... Solo. I think it was on Friday, and I did it direct for my PS5, and I had so much fun that I was like, you know what, what if I just found a game that just had every character imaginable, and we just pit some characters against each other and saw who would win the battles. So that's what we're doing today. I think I'm, today, specifically, I'm going to do Akuma, and just title this video Akuma vs. Everyone, and see if uh, Akuma can win all of these battles. There is a massive roster in this game, to say the least. I took the, the pleasure of adding a few of my own characters at the bottom of the list, but we'll go through here. You have to bear with me because I'm trying to remember. I think I set, okay, so I set, I set my controller to work for player one. It's very confusing trying to figure out how to use the keyboard and the controls for this game. But we've got Mortal Kombat characters, we've got Street Fighter characters, we've got Tekken characters, DC characters, Marvel characters. Almost everything. I think there's even Soul Calibur and Killer Instinct characters. Like, there's everything in this game. One thing I noticed, I like that they did almost all of their characters that they built into this one for Mugen. For this uh, fan servicey type game. Is they did all these sprites themselves. So, like, the Mortal Kombat characters, instead of being, like, the, the classic way that Mortal Kombat characters look, is actually done in the Street Fighter, like, cartoony, arcade kind of style of art style and graphics which i think is really cool hopefully the music that's included in this game is not copyright so i turned it out quite a bit so i won't get hit with any strikes but yeah you can see you've got sub-zero from mortal kombat deception you've got Liu kang raiden sony blade scorpion katana melina sindel devora shao khan dark khan i don't know what game dark khan is there may be some characters that they just created and made up themselves as well because those typically happen with Yugen games you download but yeah, we got Kodo Khan. We got Kronika in here from Mortal Kombat 11, which is kind of dope. Shinnok. Cassie Cage. I noticed that Cassie Cage, I think, is the only one of the Mortal Kombat children that's included in this Mugen. But Baraka, Reptile, General Raikou. We got Rain, Nightwolf, Quan Chi, Jax, Jade. Pretty much everyone you could think of. Shang Tsung, Goro. Looks like there's two versions of Shang Tsung in here. We've got Old Man Shang Tsung and Young Shang Tsung. We got Frost, Ermac, Cyrax, Chameleon, Blaze. Don't think that's how Blaze looks in the games. I think he's usually like just straight up on fire from Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Maybe there's another version of him that is. There we go. We got Sector, Smoke, Spawn. I did add in, I deleted a character, like a character I didn't know, I think. And I added in Spawn myself because I was like, Spawn would be fitting for this game. There we go. We got Akuma. I think there's a couple iterations of Akuma. So we'll have to decide which one we want to go with. We've got Alien in here. Kano, Ultimate Mortal Kombat Kung Lao, I'm assuming, from maybe Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. We've got Kira, Ultimate Johnny Cage. we got Tremor, Triborg. There we go. So here's some Killer Instinct characters. We've got Jago, Cinder, Glacius. This is only the third row. There's a lot of characters in here, so let's go a little bit quicker. Fulgore, Vorchin? I don't know who that is. I'm assuming that's another character. Saber Wolf. TJ Combo, don't know who that is. Arbiter from Halo, that's an interesting one. Gargos, that sounds like a made-up character to me. We've got the Alien Queen. Predator, Berserker version of Predator. Alien Warrior. Pred Alien, which is like a fusion, I guess, of Predator and Alien. Then we got some Soul Cowboy characters here. We got Killick, Nightmare, 
Taki, Cervantes. Let's see who else we got. Hamaru, Astaroth, Song Minina, Pira, Necrid, Rock. I don't recognize Rock at all. Cassandra, Sophia, Ivy, Charade, Stigfried, Mitsurugi, Hild, Lizard Man, which is like, I think I remember in the newest Soul Calibur just randomly fighting them. Inferno, don't know that one at all. I thought Yoshimichi was in here somewhere. Elysium, Voldo, Tyra, Zhanghua, Pyra Omega, or Pyra Omega, so that must be like the ultimate form of her. Simon Belmont from Castlevania, Superman. Okay, so now we're in DC. So we got Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Shazam, Dark Side, Doomsday, Joker, Harley Quinn, Batman. Pretty much all of your mainstay, like Injustice characters, Supergirl, Catwoman, Aquaman. But then you got characters like this, Lobo. Well, he was in the first. I'm pretty sure he was in the first Injustice. Power Girl, Batwoman, General Zod, Atrocitus, Batgirl, Kyle Rayner, Bane, Green Arrow, Poison Ivy. That's kind of cool. Jessica Cruz, I guess another form of of uh, Green Lantern. Solomon Grundy. Yeah, man, it just it's like the list just keeps going. If uh, any of these characters you see on the roster you want to see me do on a future video, let me know. Starfire. Okay, so I got two versions of Spawn. Okay, so Spawn was already in the game then, I guess. And then I added another character not realizing he was already in it. So maybe if there's a character that you want to see in a game, a Mugen character that's like cool and cool, let me go. And maybe I'll delete this Spawn and add him in. Black Adam, Catman, his portrait looks like Daredevil, Black Canary, Katana, Zatanna, Black Mana, Black Flash, Cyborg, Superman, Hellboy, Gorilla Grodd, King Shark, that's kind of cool, Professor Zoom, Beast Boy, Azrael, Adam, Two-Face, Metallo, The Penguin, The Huntress, Plastic Man, Scarecrow, Martian Manhunter, Mr. Freeze, Brainiac, that's a weird version of Brainiac, but we'll go with it, Riddler, Deadshot, Steel, Blue Beetle, Constantine, Hawkman, Dr. Manhattan. Okay, you know what? We're just going to go through the rest of these real quick instead of calling them all out because I'm trying to keep my videos shorter. So, okay, now you can see we got Street Fighter characters, but then we've got He-Man and Skeletor, which is kind of cool. More DC characters going on here. Okay, then we've got Street Fighter and Tekken characters. we got another version of Akuma here. That looks like Street Fighter V Akuma, I want to say. Evil Ryu, Evil Kin, Dark Chun-Li, which is kind of cool. And then we got the regular versions of everybody as well. Yeah, man, this game's got... Even without me adding my own characters in, it's got... Yeah, there was Yoshimitsu. So they went with the Tekken version, I guess. It's got... Pretty much everyone imaginable. I didn't notice if there's any like King of Fighters or any of those characters, but I know there's like Street Fighter Tekken, all the big ones. Yeah, there we go. Some uh, Street Fighter bosses, like, and then we got Kratos in here, and then we got this random character. I think is a version of Jin, <laughs> but I'm not exactly sure. And this one just says unknown, so I don't know who that is. Then we've got our Marvels, and I felt like they were kind of lacking in Marvel, so that's why I went and added my own Marvel characters in. So like all these ones, once you get past Venom and Carnage, you get into these little tiny ones. Daredevil, Punisher. These are all ones I pulled from a different Mugen and added in myself. And then I think I added... Yeah, I added some, uh, as you can see, some Dragon Ball Z characters. Cell, Frieza, Goku. We got Sonic in here. Then I added some horror characters. Jason, Freddy, Michael Myers, and Ash Williams. Then we got some random wrestling characters. Sting doesn't really fit with the game, so he's probably going to be deleted. But Goldberg, The Undertaker, Triple H, and I believe Kane, which is snuck down here on the bottom. I think they all had, like, arcade sprites. So let's go with... I don't know which Akuma to go with. I guess I'm going to go with the one up here. Yeah, we'll go with this Akuma. And, uh... I thought I had a random selector, but I guess I don't have a random. So I'm going to have to find a spot to put in for uh, for random. I guess we'll just start off and have him fight off against Sub-Zero. Maybe I can fix this in a future video and uh, add a slot for a random. If I can figure out how to do that. But we'll see. So we got Akuma versus Sub-Zero. So I guess this episode will just be Akuma versus Mortal Kombat. Let's see what he can do. Uh oh, he just got froze! 
Sub Zero is freezing him, but Akuma is doing some mad damage right now. He's getting frozen. Oh my goodness. Sub Zero is just relying straight up on that ice. Akuma's got him though, man. He was relying on that ice for those freezes, but Akuma's attacks are just too powerful for him. Now, I don't know which version of Akuma this is. His eyes are full on red. I wonder if it's like Shin Akuma or if it's just normal Akuma. Sub-Zero is relying on that ice, man. He's just straight up relying on that ice. Oh, Akuma with the combos. Akuma's trying to sleep, but he's missing like every attack. He don't want to get hit by that frozenness anymore. Hopefully this doesn't drag out just because of that. Uh-oh. So Zero looks like he's going to come back here. Oh my goodness, imagine if this was Akuma versus everyone and Akuma lost the first fight. Akuma, what are you doing? Get it together. You got no defense against, against the ice. Okay, this is going to go to full three rounds, apparently. Sub-Zero was not playing around on that one. Oh my goodness, that ice? I don't know if Akuma can beat that ice, man. Sub-Zero's laying in pretty heavy with it. He's going for that shoulder bash. That WWE shoulder tackle. Akuma, what are you doing? You saw that he was full ice for him. I don't know why he did that. Oh my goodness. Sub-Zero with the two-hit combo. Akuma's almost got him. Does Akuma have a fatality? I think they just gave Akuma some weird fatality. I don't know what that was. I thought maybe he would just do the, the Raging Demon or something, but uh, he still got a fatality. That's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that. All right, so since we don't have any random slots, which is kind of unfortunate, I'll have to figure out how to do that. Okay, what are we doing? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's redo that. <laughs> like I said, the controls, I guess we'll just go down left to right. So we did Sub-Zero. I guess we'll do Liu Kang next. Let's see how many people in the Mortal Kombat side of things Akuma can take down before he's finally defeated. Or until we run out of time for this video. Okay, it looks like it's only going to be one. Liu Kang with the fireballs. Akuma is having trouble fighting against those, man. Liu Kang is powerful. The hero of the Mortal Kombat universe, man. He's really taking it to Akuma right now. Akuma did not stand a chance against Liu Kang there. That was insanity. Ready, go. He's getting a couple hits, but Liu Kang is just doing so much power with his fireballs. Oh, there he goes. He was trying to cheese those drop kicks. Oh, Liu Kang went for that flying kick to miss, but he hit the second flying dragon kick. Oh, Akuma's really having trouble. I don't know if he's going to pull this one off. Wow! Alright, so, uh... That's it for Akuma. <laughs> Akuma got destroyed by Liu Kang. Alright, let's see the other... Let's see if the other version of Akuma... Where was he? I might have to scroll around and find him. There he is. We'll see if the Street Fighter V looking version of Akuma can take out Liu Kang. Let's see if he's more powerful than the first version. That'll be interesting. And then maybe before we end it off, we'll do like a turbo. Because you can change the fighting speed in the game. Oh my goodness, Liu Kang! Nope, Akuma just cannot. Akuma may be powerful, but in, in Mortal Kombat Universe, the poor guy doesn't stand a chance. He did take out Sub-Zero though, which was interesting. But he's got no defense against Liu Kang. Look at that damage by Liu Kang! One flying dragon kick, man. It takes out so much health. Look at this, his attacks! 
Okay, I think Akuma went for some ultimate move there, but just totally whiffed. Yeah, Street Fighter V Akuma did even worse than the than the other Akuma. Huh. Alright, let's Let's do this. We're gonna do the game speed to like fast one. Now you know what? Let's do fast three. Let's see how insane this gets with a fast three. We'll save that. You can see I've got it on hard eight because that should ensure that the computer is going to do everything in its power and just unleash all of its ultimate moves. So let's see. Let's do... This video is all about Akuma. So let's we'll just... I should have just done... Somebody random. All right, let's see. Let's just do a random... Maybe we'll do a random DC character. Why don't we... No, you know what? Let's do Simon Belmont. I haven't seen this character at all in a fighting game, I don't think. Let's see how insane this gets with a fast three. Turbo speed. To prove myself a true Belmont, I must try... Ready, go! He's a big boy. Okay, it's faster, but it's not that fast. Oh, Akuma's tearing Simon Belmont up! Holy crap, are you kidding me? Akuma just destroyed that man! Lady, go! Why does it look like a part of Simon Belmont's chest is just, like, hanging out of his shirt? But now it's coming up. It must have just been his arm. But that one angle, it looked like his chest was just popping out. That poor man just got annihilated. He just got completely obliterated. All right, we need to we need to kick it up. We're gonna go all the way, baby. Fast nine, and we're not talking about the movies. All right, Akuma, let's see what you could do on the the fastest level of gameplay possible. Let's do let's do another Mortal Kombat. How about hmm. All right, well, we've seen him versus Liu Kang, so why don't we just do Kung Lao? Let's see if he can take Kung Lao. He couldn't take Liu Kang, but now we're on Fast 9, so we'll see. Can you do it, Akuma? You're supposed to be, like, ultra-powerful, man. Can you take Kung Lao? Oh my gosh, look how fast this is! <laughs> now this is the fighting fast, man. Oh my goodness, yes, he wrecked... That was a perfect... A flawless victory against Kung Lao. Now, something else that's fun in this is you can also do team battles, which I always thought was kind of cool. Oh my goodness, look at Akuma go! Look at him go! Oh my goodness! He just flung that man into oblivion. Akuma on Fast 9 apparently is no joke. Can he get revenge on Liu Kang though, or will Liu Kang still beat him down? Okay, hang on, I don't know why it just did that. All right, we want Akuma. All right, let's see if he can beat Liu Kang on Fast 9. Or if Liu Kang's still going to pull out the victory. Because Liu Kang looked like he was overpowered in that first fight. Lady, go! Oh, 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 oh. It looks a little more even. Oh, that flying dragon kick, though, man. Woo, look at him go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They're going crazy. They're going crazy! Oh my goodness, they're both hitting each other with flying kicks! Oh, the fireballs, though. He can't stop those fireballs, man. They're too quick! The Kang hasn't tried his bicycle kick yet. Oh my goodness, Liu Kang, chill out! It's Liu Kang! Oh, he just lit my man on fire? Yo, Liu Kang is a savage! Liu Kang is a savage! Let me know next video if you want a Liu Kang versus everyone. Maybe we'll get the random in on that. Alright, let's do one more battle here. Let's see. Let's do somebody from Marvel. How about a Akuma versus... How about the Hulk? That could be interesting. Akuma versus the Hulk. This would be the last... 
the last battle for this video. Oh, he's taking it to the Hulk. He is taking it to the Hulk. Yo, that that hyper speed right there, man. Fast nine is insane. Oh. Hulk does damage, but Hulk isn't quite as fast as Akuma. So Akuma's got a speed advantage here. There he goes. My man just fatality the Hulk. What other game you gonna see when uh when Marvel and DC characters can be fatalities, man? That's crazy. Alright, y'all, I hope you sincerely enjoyed this video. That's gonna do it for this episode. I went around the time that I wanted to go. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. Hit that like button for your boy. Drop a comment below on uh, what other fights you would like to see in the future or other characters. Or if you think that Akuma versus Liu Kang, like who do you think would really win the battle? Or like I said, yeah, just leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more Mugen content in the future, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, be on the lookout for some Diablo 4 and Street Fighter content coming soon or whatever else I decide to upload throughout the week. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, peace out, everybody. Bye bye